welcome to Agri Economics and Extension by Anukriti. So this is a channel where I'll be posting video lectures on agriculture economics and extension. So let's begin. This particular video is a roadmap on how to study agricultural economics for ICR PG entrance exam. In this you will get to know what you have to study in agriculture economics and what books you should refer to. Now, if you are a beginner or already started your preparation, then you should be aware that there are five units basically in agriculture economics. First, it's microeconomics, then it's macroeconomics, then the third one is production economics and farm management, then comes agriculture marketing, and the fifth one is agriculture finance. I'll be posting separate video lectures on each unit. A uh, playlist will be on the, on the basis of unit. Uh, like I'll start with microeconomics, then I'll cover macro, and then progressively I will be finally covering agriculture finance. Now these are the book recommendation. First, it's Subhareddy, that is Agriculture Economics by Subhareddy. This is the most basic and most important book. Then an introduction to agricultural social sciences by Subhash Chandra. Then you can refer to Economics of Farm Production and Management by V. T. Raju. Especially this is for only production economics and farm management then the last book is objective agriculture economics by nirmal ravi kumar this is also known by nrk this is an objective book and you must practice questions for economics to clear your concept okay so the first unit is microeconomics under this the topics that i'll be covering and that is in your syllabus is first consumer behavior then comes cardinal approach under consumer behavior uh, comes cardinal approach then under cardinal approach there is law of diminishing marginal utility law of equi marginal utility then another uh, topic is uh, ordinal approach under this comes indifference curve law of diminishing marginal rate of substitution then law of demand and law of supply cost concept market structure market structure is very conceptual chapter students get confused um, since their concept are not clear so i will try my best to make a very perfect video for it and market structure under market structure market is classified on the basis of competition so there is perfect competition then there is imperfect competition then another topic is fact of production then form a business organization then distribution and theories of wage profit and interest so this is microeconomics then in macroeconomics concept of national income under this i'll try to cover gdp gnp nnp ndp what is what is gdp like exactly what all things comes under this so i'll try to make a video on this then theory of consumption theory of um, then investment classical and keen theory of employment then concept of unemployment inflation you must have heard about inflation like uh, economy is going through inflation so what are types of inflation then phillips curve islm model then come money and banks business cycle then economic stabilization fiscal policy and monetary policy what is the difference between them then public expenditure public revenue and public finance is another topic in macroeconomics then production economics production economics carries great weightage like four to five questions will be there in production economics so in production economics first topic will be basic concepts of production economics then law of return then factor factor relationship under this a very famous law law of diminishing marginal return comes then factor product relationship is an important topic in this then product product relationship and the last topic is return to scale so this was about production economics then comes farm management under farm management economic principles applied to farm management then comes types of farming types of farming system farm planning farm budgeting and types size of farm farm record farm inventory depreciation and method of computation of depreciation then farm efficiency, risk and uncertainty. In farm management, basically you will have theoretical portion more. It's more about theory. So this was about farm management. Then comes agriculture finance. Agriculture finance is a lengthy portion. 
so it contain credit system and classification under credit system you'll find all the kinds of loan like mortgage what is hypothecation security then uh, what is cooperative what are the maxims principle of cooperative and about the movement of cooperative in india then you will get to know about scb dccbs pax uh, cldbs pldbs i'll uh, you will get to know what are these in the later videos then single window system lamps fss social control nationalization of bank you must have heard about nationalization of bank so this is also there in agriculture finance then multi agency approach what is village adoption scheme what is service area approach then comes lead bank scheme uh, about sbi about rrb a dir scheme di cgc crop loan system in india then rbi ardc naba afc then world bank uh, shg what is shg uh, nabard and shg linkage about kisan credit card scheme then test of credibility uh, credit feasibility which is also commonly known as 3 rs then 5 cs 7 bs repayment plan like when you take loan banks plan how to take repayment from you so mm, there are some types of repayment then comes balance sheet income statement cash flow statement these are very important and uh, you should know the difference between them and uh, then another topic is project cycle and then capital budgeting so agriculture finance is quite lengthy so you should study it carefully and there are many points to remember then comes agriculture marketing this will be the last unit of your um, agriculture economics first is classification of market second producer surplus under this you must have heard about marketed and marketable surplus very famous topic then marketing functions and efficiency then marketing risk what is speculation what is hedging then marketing cost marketing margin and price spread then nafed ncbc these are government agencies then pds system rpds what is gps targeted public dis public distribution system then dmi then comes another topic bis iso hscp these are marks related to agriculture marketing then commodity boards in india there are mini commodity boards like tea board coffee board then agriculture price policy cacp then uh these were about agriculture marketing then there are some topic which is not under uh, under these five year plans i will making a separate video of five year plan because five year plan is important both in extension and economics so i'll combine both of both the subjects in five year plan like in which five year plan what important extension related scheme or what important economics in from the point of view of economic what was what happened so five year plan then uh, irrigation price irrigation policies gat and wto so these topics are not in agriculture marketing these are extra topics but this is in our syllabus so this was all about what you have to study in agriculture economics and i'll be making videos on all of these topic i'll try my best i hope so you got a gist of of what you have to study if you like the video uh do like share and subscribe thank you for listening see you in the next video thank you